like, share, subscribe, support. Audio by Zeta Midnight. <laughs> god i'm never gonna get the hang of this so what do i swing my hip like to the left or to the right or oh (laughs) how long have you been watching me (laughs) no it's not funny (laughs) look okay you said try something new so i've gone to try something new this is um this is part one of the belly dancing class, and I think I'm doing pretty well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. No, it's not fair. <laughs> well, no, you're supposed to be able to do this hip thing where you like, I don't know, where you kind of move your weight from one foot to the other, but your hips are also going up and down, and it makes you look like you're doing a kind of wavy <laughs> yeah, I, I, I am no Shakira, but it, it's good exercise. It feels really nice. Yep, and uh, might even help deal with some of this. <laughs> yeah, I've put a bit on over lockdown, but who hasn't? You know what I mean? <sighs> so, how are you? Now that you've finished eyeballing me from the corner... Oh, was it nice to see them again? Oh, I'm so chuffed. It's been ages since you've had a chance to hang out. Mm. <laughs> and uh, did you get a chance to introduce them to your new squeeze? <laughs> That's cool. It's nice being able to introduce a partner to a friend. So, you know, how did it go? Wait, what? They... Wait, they called you what? Excuse me, they... What What kind of friends are they? Are you all right? Are they okay? No, not them. Your partner, your squeeze, your significant other, your beau, your bee, your... What what do you call them? Yeah, that. (laughs) So cute, you two are adorable. And they called you, your friends called you, oh, wow, I had, I had no idea they were so narrow-minded. I'm sorry, honey. And no, 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 don't you dare, no, no. Just because they called you that, that doesn't mean it's a label you have to accept. No, they can call you whatever the hell they want. I mean, they're not very good friends, but the point I'm trying to make is only you get to decide what labels you accept and what you don't. Of course that's your choice. No one has the right to expect you to accept a label that they place on you. That choice is yours. And frankly, if your friends, quote, are going to treat you like that, then they're not very good friends at all. And they clearly don't understand. No, they don't understand what it's like to be on the receiving end of comments like that, day in, day out. They haven't been paying attention to what's happening in your life. And if they have, it's clear that they don't care. They should be supportive of you. Look, I'd expect that kind of language from some narrow-minded idiot who doesn't know anything about you, but not from your friends. They should know better. And yes, you can, you know, lay claim and ownership of the label once again and reclaim it the way other words have been reclaimed, but you don't have to. That's a choice you make. That's your personal comfort level. And your friends need to respect that. Listen, I'm not going to tell you how to speak with your friends, but just consider that maybe they're not as good for you as they think they are. And maybe 
you deserve better. Throwing around words like that, whether in jest or as a nickname, it's not right. And you should feel comfortable to tell them that. And if you don't, maybe you need to reconsider the friendship. Hey, labels are there for understanding and separation and organizing, but you're, you're not a piece of food from a grocery store. You're not a packet of items. You're a human being and you get to choose your labels. All right. All right. Now then. Since you were watching me for so long, clearly you have picked up this hip move so you can stand here and practice with me while we try to get it right. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. We're going to get our Shakira on. Yow, wow. Yow, wow, 